In this lesson, we're going to create a background service. Background services are used to complete tasks without any user intervention. In fact, they don't want any user intervention, and their primary use is for when we want to do tasks while the user is doing something else in the UI that may be unrelated. One common use of a background service is to query remote data. So we're going to do that in this sample. We're going to use the login service that we did back in our remote data lesson. And we're going to pass in a username and a password. But in this case, we're going to do it using a background service. Our background service code looks like this, calling the class data service. It has an attribute service and it descends from service. We have to override the onStart command method and it passes us in an intent and some flags and a start ID. The intent carries any data that the starting activity may have wanted to pass to us. In this case, the starting activity passes us a user and password and then we use the WCF way of calling a web service and we call the login with the username and password and we get an output result and then there's also an output parameter for whether the result was actually returned. So if the result is true and the result returned is true then the login succeeded and we just put up a little toast message. This is not typically what you'd want to do. You typically would want to report back to the UI the result, but we'll get to that in a future lesson. If the login failed, because either the results or the result returned was false, we just put up the toast message that the login failed. And there is an override for onBind, which we'll also talk about in later lessons. This is the activity to call the service. We have our usual text and button members. And then on the button, we have a flag for whether the service has been started already. And this is primarily if it was a multi-threaded service. And we'll see that in a future lesson as well. So you can see that we're only kind of setting the table with this first lesson on services. So if the flag has not been started, the service has not been started, we flip the flag and we start the service. We get our intent and we put in our extra data for the user and password and we call start service. If the service has already been started, then we just stop the service and we're just flipping the text on that button so it's kind of a toggle switch between starting and stopping the service. So that's pretty easy code to start and stop the service with. So let's see that running. And here's our form. I've pre-filled in the username and password just so you don't need to see me type. And we're starting the service. Now note that the button is still holding and we did get a login succeeded. But in that time that the button was orange, the UI was actually blocked. That's essentially because we've called the service in foreground and the service was not multi-threaded. So although the primary use of services is to be in the background, it's not really the case in this particular implementation because we called the service directly from the UI and it was on the UI main thread. So it was a blocking service. And this is not really a desirable thing. So we've seen the basics on how to create a service. And in future lessons, we'll see how to make a multi-threaded service so that it's actually a useful service for the background.